So Mark Regan, manager of Neve Connell, seventh final uh, in a row. You've been here before on, uh, on numerous occasions. It's a big day for Ghidorah because they've got two teams and they haven't been in it since, since 2019. The fact that you have been in so many, how big a game is this now for, for you and your group? Uh, it's as big as the first county final we appeared in in 2005. It's, you, know, you, you, n you never know when the next one will come. So you want to make the most of these opportunities. And as you say, for Ghidorah to have the two teams there, it's, it's huge. And we've been lucky in that situation. We were there last year with the senior and reserve team. And likewise, three or four years ago, we had the two teams there. And it's, it's massive for the parish. It's massive for the area. Yeah. Um, the lift that you get for to head to head to county final to watch two teams play on the same day, it's, it's huge. So I'm sure they're all buzzing down to Ghidorah with coming up to the two county finals. Um, yeah, that's, it's a huge day for, for both clubs, definitely. How do you get the group to go to the well every single year? Because you are without doubt the, the best team that has ever been at club level in, in, in this county. And to keep going back and making finals and winning titles, it can be a difficult thing to do. Uh, it's, it's not. Look, they, they don't take any motivation. It's, you know, you, you're asking me, how do I keep the getting to it? It doesn't take anything. They're the, the boys themselves, they have the hunger. They have the desire to keep coming back and keep wanting more. Um, when we've lost finals, it's to get back and make amends for that. And when we've won finals, they want more of that there. They want to come back and retain the titles that they won, that they feel it's their title. So they want to defend it more than last year. We won it last year and it's it's ours at the moment and we want to hold on to it. So look, at they, they don't take any motivation or any encouragement to come back. They, they enjoy their football and they're a really united group. So they, are, they all get on well with one another and they enjoy their time together down the football field when we're training and going to games. So it's, it's a very simple job really getting them back. There's a couple of spanners thrown at you during the <laughs> during the campaign. You were about seven down against St. Unions and six down against Glen Swally, four down to the break against against Kilcar. So those real questions asked of the group uh, during the campaign, so there was, but but they answered them very impressively with stunning second half performances. Yeah, there has, and I suppose last week was a bit of a role reversal in that we started well, maybe the first few minutes aside, we were we were poor in the first few minutes, but then we had a very good first half the last day. We put ourselves in a really good position to go five two up, and then first time in the second half we found ourselves in a really good position ten six up, and we should have been seeing the game out, but we finished the game poorly. Then we'd all consider the next three points to go ten nine. So, yeah, we've we've every game has been kind of topsy turvy where we have, we haven't got a six minute performance yet in any game. Um, as you said, there's a good few games we were really poor in the first halves and found ourselves four or five points down at half times, having to come back. Other games, like you know, last week, we played well for maybe 40, 45 minutes and finished the game poorly. So that's the big, big one for us now over the next two weeks is getting a 60 minute performance against Gidor because that's what's going to be needed. You're not going to get away with winning the county final by playing 40, 45 minutes. So we're going to have to really find it for 60 minutes against Gidor. Even though you are the raging hot favourites uh, for for this game, and you don't pay any attention to tags, but as I said to Orn, do, do you feel that there's a maybe a target on your back given the history between these two clubs and what you have been through previously, particularly in the trilogy in 2019, where you where you put a stop to what some were expecting to be the team that would maybe dominate Donegal football in the years uh, uh, during that period, but but it was flipped around with that result that that, that you just pulled off. Yeah, definitely. Look, there's a there's a target. Whenever a team wins a championship in any given year, the target is on there back the following year. And we've been the exact same as last year. We would have been looking at Unions last year. Unions won the championship two years ago, and they were the team we were looking at last year then as to how, what do we have to do to take them down and it's no different to this year we, we won the championship last year and teams would have been watching us all year and trying to get to the level that we're getting to so of course there's a target on our back and definitely get over and we knocked Gidor out in the semi-final last year in a really tough battle you know we were hanging on at the end of that game to win by two points so of course, you know from that game that's what they would have been talking about all winter last year is how can we get up to the level of Connor at and they're they're going about it the right way they've put in a serious shift all year they're in a really good place when you have when you see a senior and a reserve team on a final on the one day there's some excellent young players coming through there they're really good on the 21 teams there for a few years so look at while the target is in our backs we're under absolutely no illusions that it's going to take a massive massive performance to get over the line in two weeks yeah. You talk about the Ghidorah team but you've been able to blood players over the last couple of years as well you have what four centurions is it? Uh, between the four guys there's 400 championship games in that squad of yours so there is and then you've got all these young players that you brought in over the last couple of years as well so there's listen there's buckets of talents in Gidor, but there's lots of talent in Glenty's fun town as well yeah and uh, loads of experiences say as well I know Marty would have been he made his 100 games last year so you have, you have five that would have made the 100 and I know Brandy's not too far off that either so look there is loads of experience in the group but it's the young lads really that are driving the whole thing on now I know it's a big deal made of the, the older lads and they're brilliant and it's a 
you know, there's no words I can say about how good they've been for this club. But really, it's the Kierons and the Doherty's and Keelan McGill's. It's all them lads that are really driving the whole thing on now at training as well. That the, they're finding the next level, Charlie McGill. It's all them lads. They're, they're the ones that have really stepped up to the plate the last while. So while the older lads are really hugely important and their experience is massive and can't be underestimated, the, the younger lads in the middle age brackets there, they're the ones that have really stepped up over the last couple of years, to be fair. Yeah. When you, just finally, when you talk to a lot of sports people, and particularly guys that have been involved in big games in GA, they say it's the matches that they lost are the ones that are sitting with them worse than the ones they remember the most. If we go back to last year and that defeat in Ulster, is that still nipping away at you and something that, that, that you just want to rectify? Ah, look at every game. Ulster's not. It's not, not the worst thing around, but Ulster absolutely not. No, um, we'd th- never would we think about Ulster at any stage. But I'm not asked if you thought about Ulster, but the yeah. fact that you just lost that oh, game yeah. and you were oh, without doubt. And, we'd and st- has, has that been, I suppose, something that you have brought into this year? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Look, we, we'd even look back as far as the 2018 final where Gidor beat us, beat us comfortably. Um, even looking at games we played Gidor in the past, that, that's one that always brings to mind where we just didn't perform in the day. And it's one where we, we feel let down in the Kilcar final we would have lost as well. You, they are, you're, you're 100% right there. The finals you lose, you'll remember them more than the ones you win, without, without doubt. And you'll always have regrets over them them finals that are, rather than the ones you win, definitely. So that's no different to you. The carrying game, of course, you'd be thinking about what could, could you do differently to win the game and things like that. But no, look at our focus has, has since final whistle went last Sunday straight away our focus turned to get over in the county final and that's all we'll be thinking about now for these two weeks Okay listen uh, Martin many thanks for talking to us I wish you the best luck in the final No problem